Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. It's about getting dressed and looking our best. That's right. Get dressed and look your best. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. I love you. I thank you. And I do so appreciate you. Now, ladies, we're going to get the lips out of the way and the nails out of the way because I got a few things to cover today for you. On my lips is one I've shown you. It's the Gucci. Remember I had the Gucci with the three lipsticks? I'll list it below. And this is the one called Goldie Red. It's G-O-L-D-E Red. And it's a matte. It's a lovely matte right there. Beautiful. Cute little tube of lipstick. So I don't know. I didn't know what to put on and I just thought I'd put the Put a little red matte on for you today. On my nails, I did them again. I used the uh, Olive and June, and this one is called Pink Sands. It's a pale, pale pink. I'm telling you, my nails have broken. This one broke off. I had to take this one down. This one just doesn't want to try to grow back. But that's okay. You have those times where there, you get 10 great nails, and then you one breaks and something. And it's winter time. My nails always act act up in the winter time it's just it's like me it doesn't like the winter time and of course i just have the the shiny top coat on olive and june we'll list their site below for you sorry i'm like i'm acting like if i see a hair here speaking of hair it's down for a minute it's you know i know a lot of you wonder why does she always wear it in a ponytail why does she always wear it up it's so thin look at it it's just you know, but I'm not complaining. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm working on it. I've been taking my Nutrafol. And I'm going to give you a report on that pretty soon. You know, and I ordered some uh, new Lastin for the scalp. So I'm going to try that out. I've been using the new Lastin for the lashes. And I got lashes for days. Days, days, days. I need to give an update on that for you too. Because I think I'm about on my 100th day of using the new Lastin for the lashes. And Love it, love it, love it. I should have brought it in here with me. But we'll, we'll cover that maybe next week. I'll go. I'm waiting for the hair stuff to come. And I'll share that with you when it comes. So, hi ladies. How you been? I'm telling you, today it's freezing rain. It's falling right now. There's a window here. It's just so depressing. And there's just like a sheet of ice on the city. Just a sheet of ice. And it doesn't seem to be letting up. So... I may as well be in here with you, but we're not going to worry about the weather. We're not going to trip about the weather. We're going to carry on, right? Because, because for me, this is my birthday week. Yes, yes, yes. Happy birthday. Let me do some, I need some balloons here for happy birthday, right? Or something should be going on here. Let's put some balloons. Happy birthday. Because by the time you see this, I will have had my birthday. My birthday is Wednesday the 24th. My 72nd birthday as a matter of fact. So I am thankful for that. And should I wake up that morning <laughs> and be so blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate a lot of you have already sent me some great birthday salutations and greetings and I appreciate that thank you and, and some of you have your birthday this month too and thank you and happy birthday to you too I'm sorry thank you so and I, before I begin before I go on to I want to uh, give a shout out back another shout out back to Connie um, what is this Connie Murphy She's, she has a, 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 a YouTube channel called Connie Murphy Over 70 Steel Glam. That's a long title. But she shouted my name out. She was talking about how I dress or something. And she was talking about that I dress really expensive from Bloomingdale's. I don't know where you got that from, Connie, because I've never been to Bloomingdale's. I don't want anything from Bloomingdale's. I would love to. You know, you, ladies, you know where I shop. There's what, Banana Republic? Nordstrom's, Macy's, a little bit of Chico, some Talbots, you know, a little Banana Republic factory, you know, wherever I can find a good bargain, you know, and I would love to do Macy's. And every now and then I dip my toe over in sacks, but I do appreciate the shout out, Connie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, ladies, let's see. We need to get started here because I got a few things to cover. I was watching, and speaking of shouting out, I was watching a channel, a channel that I follow, a, a 
influencer, another Angela, not our Angela. You know who our Angela is. Not Angela Michelle, but this is Angela with Angela's Fashion Mix. And I don't know if you, uh, any of you uh, subscribe to her. I'll find a picture and put a picture of Angela up here. But she did a video uh, about a week ago, I think, where she was talking about what well, she was talking about customer service and that's you got I'm gonna list that video below so that you you need to watch that but she she also talked about handbags that her husband knows he, she says her husband knows her handbag style and she showed a few bags that he's bought her uh, and I, I thought hey wait a minute my husband buys me handbags all the time I need to do a little little video on the handbags my husband has bought because you know Mr. Barry has bought me some handbags. He keeps telling me, I'm not buying anymore, you don't need anymore. And I thought, no, don't do that, don't do that. So I don't know what he's getting me for my birthday. I don't even have any hint or what. So if it's a purse, I'll, you know, I'll be thrilled. If it's not, I'll still be thrilled with whatever he chooses. But over the years, he has, over the past six years that we've been back together in life and, and, and now married, well, I guess over seven years, because we've been married, it'll be six in December, so we were together a little bit before, so he has bought me handbags, and I wanted to share some of them with you, and I, I started writing down and pulling them out. It's a total of 10 handbags. Is he a keeper or what, ladies, right? <laughs> a man that'll, he loves to do it. So we were, he was here visiting before we got married and we were out at the mall at Frontenac in St. Louis and we went into uh, the Tory Burch store and this was my very first Tory Burch. I've shown you in videos. This was the one he bought me, my very first Tory Burch and she pretty, just off-white and precious. And I was over the moon, I thought, oh, I got this bag bought it for me and he didn't flinch at the price I can't remember what it was probably it was for something but that was my very first Tory Burch bag that he bought me now I always think that this bag I'm going to show you next was the very first bag he ever bought me but it really wasn't I think the Tory oh no this may have been my very first Tory Burch but it wasn't the first purse he bought me the first purse he bought me he had been here to visit and he'd gone back to 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 Houston and it was Christmas I think or was it my birthday it was Christmas and he sent me this I got this package and he sent me this bag it's a coach bag I know you've all seen this style the big double double opening coach bag love it I haven't carried her in a while she's she's heavy she's a lot to carry but when I was working it was a great bag I could put my iPad in here and all kind of stuff in there and she has feet and I don't know if coach still I mean I to carry some styles of this but lovely lovely that was the first bag and I was like oh he sent me this bag for Christmas you know then my birthday because when he was here and we were shopping and we were out at the mall I we were out at Frontenac mall shopping or walking around and I, there was a Gucci bags and the Chanel and all this other thing and he said you don't have one of those I said I don't have a Louis a Gucci or a Chanel and he said you should so he sent me that um, coach for Christmas my birthday was in January and he surprised me that lovely lovely man sent me my very first and only Louis Vuitton bag and it was one that I had gone on the site and picked. And I'm telling you, I have dogged this bag out and worn it. This is my spring carry-all every day. I forget what she's called, you know. I've had her a long time, but I love this bag. And he bought it. Perfect size, easy to carry. And I think the Christmas, first Christmas we were married, I think, he did get me, he got me the wallet to it. So I have the wallet and I have the Louis Vuitton handbag from my husband. And he picked that out all on his own and sent that to me. I was like bawling and happy and surprised and all kinds of things. Oops. Uh, and my, let's see, he sent me another coach. One, it was, I think it was Mother's Day or 
Valentine something coming up and this was one that I asked for this is another coach and I love this coach bag look at her the pink and the tan and the off-white she's so precious and I just I really like that and he ordered it and sent it to me I was like should I marry him <laughs> should I marry him <laughs> okay and so you know we got married of course and my uh, very first let's see I think even before I got the Tory Burch he gave me this we were at the mall again and Saks used to have a little Chanel shop within the store and he bought me this I just was with him and he says I want to get that for you and I was like really and I, I remember this thing was $1,200 and I kept saying $1,200 for that you know but it's it's a little small it's in a little I don't even know what it's called it's some kind of it's called the O case so I don't even know if it's really a handbag or not but I carry it as a clutch and she's lovely I just love her I pull her out at all sorts of times and she's just excellent got a little zipper part in there got all my authentication just the perfect and I was watching one of those Beverly Hills Housewives of Beverly Hills and uh, one of the ladies had this one in a white I think it was Kyle Kyle had it and uh, I thought oh that's my bag <laughs> so he bought me that that was mine so I got a Louis I got a Chanel I still don't have the Gucci yet but you know eh, we got time of course now I want me a YSL bag too I want a YSL bag but they are so ridiculously expensive I love the Chanel bag that he bought me. Are you keeping up, ladies? So let's see. My uh, I showed you my first Tory Burch, and then I think the first year we were married, he got me the Lee Radzewill, the big one. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> and I don't know if I have it in her because there's a wallet to this one too. Oh, it is. And then on Christmas he gave me the Louis wallet. He also bought me the Lee Radzewill little wallet. It's kind of a take on the bag, right? She's so tiny, but that's how he, he's just, he loves to pick out wild, uh, purses for me because he knows what I like. And I love Tory Burch and I have more Tory Burch than anything. So he bought me that one. I have this Tory Burch. I got this a couple of summers, summer before last. Yeah, I think in 2022, we were in the store together, and I just had to have this, you know. I love this classic, sleek look. It's on a Lee Radzewill type bag. And, you know, let's see, this one. This one he bought me uh, last year, or was it this year? It was, it was in 2023. He had been really sick and because I had been such a good wife taking care of him, he surprised me and got this for me. I love her. It's one of the newer Tory Burgess. I think that's it except for, you know, the one I just got. This one I got this Christmas. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. But this one I got this Christmas. Yeah. Did I get this for Christmas? Yes. Yes. It's a shame I got so many. There's one. There's some more I've missed. I got this one Christmas. I just had to have this one. I wanted it. I couldn't decide which color. Isn't she lovely? That's a Tory Burch. Are you counting all the Tory Burches that I'm showing you that he's bought me? I think there's two more. I left. Let's see. Or one more. Oh, this one. This is my. I carry her to church almost every Sunday because I'm wearing so much. I wear so much black. You've seen her before. Let me get her out of the bag. Uh, this one I love, and she comes in so many colors, from gray to off-white to tan to bone. I think it's called Eleanor or something like that. Look at this. It's got that back pocket. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. To me, I feel like I got a Chanel when I got her. But she's rugged, sturdy. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness. I think that's it. I am like purses at my feet. Purses all around me, you know. So, I just wanted to go through those for you ladies. And, uh, you know, 
think about it. He's he's a great husband, and and he he likes you know. I think he doesn't. He, it's hard to buy me clothes. I tell him no, no. I don't. I haven't met a man yet who could pick clothes for me and really get it right. But he's learned how to pick the, the handbags, and he is so good at it, so good at it. And I can't wait to carry this one, my newest one. Yay, yay, yay. And I know I need to venture over, and like everything's so much Tory, Tory. I love Tory Birch. You know I do. I love the Tory Birch handbags. So if any of these, the newer ones I'll list, I know this one I can still list. Radzibull Rat maybe, and the, this one will still be listable. I'm sure they still offer this one. It's a great bag. Any of them I can, I will list for you. Others, you know, just go out and just, there's always a new one, there's always another one. Okay. Okay, topic of the day, <laughs> after all of that, which the purses were kind of a topic. I was I was uh, on online, of course, and I was checking out Gap. You know, you ever sh I never shop at the Gap. I don't go in there, it seems, you know, I go to Banana or whatever. But I was just online with Banana Republic Factory and then the Gap. And this top, I want you to look at this top I have on. It's a t-shirt, it's called the Boat Neck, white. I got this from the Gap. I think they were 20 some dollars and something off. I mean, they were really cheap. And so I ordered another one I just wanted to show you. I'm going to show you this one, but it, I got it in gray also. It's a gray t-shirt. It's a nice weight. It almost it just feels cozy and I love this. Sometimes the round necks tend to just want to choke me and feel like I'm choking. I love, you know, the boat neck type. So this one I got, this is a small I have on. I ordered a medium because I thought they're, they're cheap. They're not going to be, but I could have really got an extra small. But I don't know what it's going to do when it gets washed. But I just wanted to show you those because this gray one is really precious. And I don't know that, what other colors, if it came in any other colors, I don't recall. But I'll list these at least. I should be able to list them. I should be able to, to find them for you. So I am going to, I did that to say this. Also, when I was um, on the Gap site, there was a cardigan I got. It's a gray, a long cardigan. And I, I thought, oh. I need to pull out my other long cardigans and do a little 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 uh, lookbook for the ladies. So that's what I'm doing today. It's just cozy cardigans, you know, just your long cardigans that you have ways you can worm. And I got that one from the Gap, but I had some more. I did a, co a closet dive because you know we like to mix and mingle the old with the new. You know, something old, something new, something beautiful, something wonderful, something for us to do. <laughs> Did I try to make a, a rhyme there? I don't know. All right, ladies, the ice is falling. I'm inside. When I finish this, I'll get to have a nice meal with my husband. And uh, But in the meantime, I am going to put together these looks. And we're going to get started with the fashions because that's what we're here for. It's the fashions and style and getting dressed and looking our best. I'll be right back. All right, ladies, cardigan look number one, long cardigan look number one. Again, this is a Gap cardigan, not the highest quality. I'm looking at it and it's it's all right. It's a good, you know, a little throw on kind of a cardigan. And I put my Banana Republic Western type belt on because I got all the silver jewelry going on and it has a silver buckle and these boots have a little bit of silver. I've shown these boots so there's some uh, Zesto Zuccio's old old uh, tall boots that I got at DSW a while back. Still come in handy, still comfortable, still works. And there you have it, just a simple outfit and this right here would drive me crazy because it's hitting this I thought the lariat necklace would go good with this look. But again, you know, adding the belt just gives you another way to wear it, but you can take the belt off, you know. I tried it on the outside, that didn't work so hot. Just take the belt off. And you know, when you just want something simple on, again, you remember this belt I showed it to you from Banana. Now let's refix our clothes. And with this t-shirt, it's long, you can ruche it. You know how you do that little ruching to get that effect? Bring this down some. It's a little more. And then it's very comfortable. 
and you can just wear it one of those casual days you want to put something on and I have fallen in love with gray gray used to be a color I just didn't was never drawn to because I always thought it washed me out with the gray in my hair now and no dark dark black or brown hair the gray seems to work and I don't know maybe it's just getting older and the skin color changes or whatever but I can wear the gray now comfortably and feel feel pretty good in it but I love this look this is a good Saturday look a good you know go to work day look you know you meet the girls for lunch look just something that we all can wear and this is my I'm sorry I didn't even tell you this is my pleated skirt from mango I don't know if they still have it but it's a it's a keeper she's a keeper I wish they'd do some more it's just a lightweight t-shirt knit with a t-shirt top and the gray cardigan so this is my newest cardigan my newest t-shirt the rest of the uh, items I'm going to show you or looks I'm going to show you will just they're in my closet they're in your closet we all have some long cardigans because they come in, they go out, they come back in. Plus, they, you can wear them every, every year, every season, and in the spring and fall, and as a layer in the winter, but in the spring, you know, throw this over some jeans and a, just a white t-shirt, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. So, I'll be back with the next look for you. Let's see what I put on one of my um, older cardigans I have. Let's see what we can come up with, okay? Nothing real fancy today, just it's icy outside, it's cold, it's my birthday week. <laughs> I'll be back. Ladies, you tell me if this is too much. It's a lot. I have on the Tory Burch earrings you know I love, love, love. This is the necklace that goes to it, but you don't usually wear them together because it is much, but this necklace is so fun. Look at that. So much fun. Much fun. Look at her. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> black and gold, black and gold, simple, long cardigan, old black uh, Eileen Fisher cardigan that I simply adore. Has the road grain ribbon trim right here, and it snaps if you want to like snap it up, you know, and belt it. It's a nice length. I've had this for many years, and it just is perfect and I put on the Chico wide leg crop pants I know a lot of you got these they still have them listed you need to get a pair do not sleep on this and they're on sale now I'll list them and this is a Ralph Lauren uh, turtleneck it's got the little gold lurex thread in it so put thought I'd just put a little color because I got so much black and gray going on with this with this video this time but it's all right we love black don't we but these earrings and this necklace the belt is express i think they still have it i'll list it it's express it's got a little loopy thing here falls perfect for when you just want to add that little bit of accent gold sam edelman boots from last year you've seen them before she's ready She's ready for whatever, you know, go to dinner, go to lunch, hang out, go on a date with your husband, or it's just your birthday and you felt like putting this on. <laughs> and I probably won't do anything on my birthday, mind you, because if the weather's like this, I'm going to be cozy up right here in the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little belching there going on. But I hope you like this look, ladies, and I, I'm sorry I didn't, I meant to put my hair up. I need to put it up. But it's all about the looks, the long cardigan. Dig in your closet, because this is almost 10 years old. At least seven. <laughs> Dig in your closet, pull out your long cardigans and put some looks together. You know, we pulled out the blazers last week and we did the um, uh, sweaters one time, you know. So you just go in there and dig back through. And I'm telling you, I was digging this morning. I have no idea what I was going to do this morning. I woke up and, and I just said, God, you'll send me something, won't you, won't you? And I said, cardigan. I had that gray cardigan, which made me think, what other cardigans do I have? And see this one, the body's great on it. It's just, really, it's just a lovely, it costs a little money. But I got a good sale. But it costs a little bit, but sometimes, you know, like I say, you get what you pay for. You get the good stuff, you get what you pay for. How about this, ladies? This look is great, right? 
right, right, right. And when when she loses those six pounds she gained over the holidays, and got all of this going on, and, and we're gonna be all right. That's all right. We're working on it. We're working on it. All right, ladies. I hope you like this look. Let's see what else I can put on for you. I'll be back with that. Talk about a closet dive, ladies. I did a closet dive on this one. This is another uh, Eileen Fisher piece. Beautiful. If you look closely, it's kind of an eggplant, deep, deep eggplant color here. And the, this part of the bottom is black and then eggplant. I don't know if that shows up on camera, the difference there. But it's, a, it's an A-line piece. It has pockets. Look at her, it has pockets, pockets, pockets. She has pockets. Yes, 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 she has pockets. Nice neckline with the no collar. You know I love a no collar. Sleeves are kind of three quarter length with a little splits. A lot of times I'll wear just a tank under it so that this is out. But I want you to look at this back. It's got that inverted pleat back there and it kind of hangs down asymmetrical in the back, if you can see that. It's kind of a different look. Very different, but fun. And I just put on a, and this is an Eileen Fisher, Fisher pencil skirt. I think I bought these at the same time that I bought this pencil skirt. Just a, my Banana Republic bolt neck, knit t-shirt tops. I'll list those, I think they still have those. I have these, those. And the same old boots. I just grabbed these boots because they were out. But you know, I could wear a different boot a, a <clears throat> or a, a pump with these. But I wanted to show you this one because it's a real old one. When we do a closet dive, it's when we're really stretching our cost per wear because it's like, well, I need to go buy something. Nothing new here. Just pieces that I have. You can put them together. You can dress it up. I put the little, my favorite little brooch up here. Uh, that I got years ago at Chico's. My Pebble Necklace by Ana Luisa. I said before that this was no longer available. It is very much available and she comes in silver. I will list her. She's a, just a classic piece to have in your wardrobe, ladies. I think you should add that, especially Valentine's Day coming up. Ask for it for Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to order the silver one because I need this in silver too and it just lays so nicely. It's just subtle and simple and classic and my fashion, my style, <laughs> my choice. So, finale coming up. We're gonna just break it down, put on another oldie but goodie um, cardigan, long cardigan. But this one is really, really fun. It's just, you just gotta be in the mood to be asymmetrical. And I usually also wear this over pants, some skinny pants. Be great over some skinny pants too. So it's a good little piece to have so I'll be back with the finale I want to thank you for spending time and listening to me this week if you haven't subscribed please subscribe come back play with us spend some time here in my bedroom creating a lookbook for you and that's mainly what I like to do create a lookbook so that that you can be confident when you step out that door like I said get dressed and look your best get dressed and look your best and it's your fashion, it's your style, and it's always your choice. And it's your run runway. <laughs> Be back with the finale. There's always that finale, ladies. Look at the little church lady, the little, she's about business lady, the, all right, I'll meet you for dinner, lady. <laughs> this is it, this is one of my older, I think this is probably, it's probably four years old, it's not that old, Ann Taylor before she went, you know, but it's a beautiful creamy white trimmed in black pockets and this blouse. This blouse is a new blouse. I haven't worn it. It's a mango blouse. I wanted me some dressier blouses. So I ordered a couple of mango blouses and it's very nice. I would list this. I'll look it up and list it. You'll love it, ladies. It's an off-white, that creamy eggshell white. Stuck the pearls on, got on my Chico's faux leather skirt. I really wish they'd do another one of these. And my, uh, I think Sam Elliman little patent booties. Just those, it's black tights. <laughs> she's ready, she's ready. Okay, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this week. I hope 
that I inspire you to make that closet dive. Because, you know, we all have bought longer cardigans in our lifetime. Come on. I, have, I even have a couple of more down there I didn't pull out. But these are some of my favorites. This one, you know, imagine this with a big flower stuck right there. Mm, mm, mm. It could even be a red flower or just another cream colored flower or a beautiful Chanel pen. Something I got to get me some Chanel pens. But this one will work. I just added the pearls. It's just a button up shirt, creamy, creamy off white color. So, will it work for you, ladies? You know, and I've worn this sweater. You can wear it with pants. You can wear it with a turtleneck, but this blouse matches exactly. I thought, wow, this blouse works. And I've worn it with black underneath it too. It doesn't look too bad if it's all black. You can see how you can see the difference there. But this is a great one. Falls nice, keeps its shape, hangs well. Just a lovely piece. Lovely little church sweater too. I'll go to dinner, Saturday afternoon even. With a, another leather skirt on or even those Chico pants, you know, the, the wide leg crops. Just endless, endless possibilities. And that's what you want your wardrobe to have. Pieces that have endless possibilities that can interchange and mix and match with the other pieces and marry well and make you look fantastic. I was going to say fabulous. Fantastic, fabulous. It's your fashion, your style, your age, your choice. And again, thank you for spending time with me. And when you look at this, I will have turned 72. And I'm going to tell you now, I had a wonderful birthday. If I woke up that morning, I had a wonderful birthday. And I appreciate you taking time each week to watch my video, spend time with me, and, and, and thank me and appreciate any ideas I put in your head. But, oh, you go to your closet. I know there's something there that you can, you can play with and, and change up with, switch up. Some of you stuck in the back that says, oh, I don't wear that anymore. Pull it out. See what you can do with it. In the meantime, you know what we, we do here. We try our best to leave a little kindness everywhere we go. Come back and see me next week. You know I'm here every Thursday. Every Thursday just for you. I love you ladies and I will see you next week and we'll talk about something else and I'll open up the lookbook for you. All right. Be kind. Be nice. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'm going to stop making this, I'm dragging out this goodbye. <laughs> I'll see you next week, ladies. Bye.